Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and Twitch.tv slash Play underscore Agricola. I'm playing an EIK WM France deck G4, G5, and G6. Four player game with Funwing, Mercator, and Thatcher. And looking at this draft, the obvious pick here is Farm Steward. Farm Steward lets you family growth without room once you're in a clay house. There are three excellent rebound cards for me. Tower Builder, right? Because I can grow normally with my third and then build two clay rooms and then um, still get to the fourth. Heretic would be fantastic. I can reno to clay, family growth, reno to stone, get some stone bonuses, and then go back to wood and grow again, as well as manufacturer. All excellent, excellent, excellent rebound cards for me. So, just got to keep Heretic in mind and Tower Builder that they're in the game. That uh, people might try to pursue them, and in which case that's like a can be a problem. Um, so we've got Journeyman. Once you have a stone house. So um, the way this is worded, I would say Heretic, once you've gone back to wood, doesn't combo with Journeyman. That's my analysis. But something like Stonebreaker would actually be playable in a game with Heretic because you want to go to stone twice, so it would actually save you an action. Um, we've also got Storehouse Keeper, um, Tutor, Remodeler, hmm. Um, farm worker whenever you plow one or more fields you can convert a building resource into three food for each field you just plowed that's pretty interesting actually especially if you had a card like field doctor or something you need the food early um, what's the best card here I actually don't know, so I'm going to take Tudor. Tudor is an okay like default pick. Okay, I've got a couple good cards here. Animal Husbandry Worker, uh, Trailblazer, Layabout is always worth considering. Um, hmm. Animal Husbandry Worker or Trailblazer? Which do I want? Um, since I'm going to do an early reno with Farm Steward, probably going to want to get a Fireplace or Cooking Hearth. So Animal Husbandry Worker would be fine to hold some a breeding pair of animals. I like Trailblazer, but if there are other ways of plowing in the game, then that'll be better. Uh, Le Petit Prince, twice each round you can exchange a cattle for three grain or a white vegetable for a sheep and a boar. Uh, that seems pretty strong actually. Yeah, it does seem pretty strong. Just because if you look at something like Silo Girl, if Silo Girl was in the game, then I, you know, you can get a whole bunch of different stuff with a very few actions. Um, so berry picker, I don't really like berry picker um, because Tudor makes berry picker come out a little later. Yeoman farmer is an interesting option if, you're, if I'm going to go for a big, big house. Clay plasterer, of course, with farm steward is worth considering because building two rooms. But like I said, I think I'm getting something I like back out of that first pile so I don't think I need clay plaster although if I get heretic back if I get her if or heretic if I get heretic back and not or heretic I think all pronoun there are a bunch of different pronunciations um, clay plaster would be really good with heretic because it would save me like four or five clay and if I get tower builder back Clay Plaster is good for Tower Builder. Well, it's, it's fine for Tower Builder. It's not fantastic. 
The card that it's best with is Manufacturer, actually. Alright. <laughs> wow. All three of them disappeared. Heretic is gone. Tower Builder is gone. Manufacturer is gone. That's hilarious. Okay. Um... So Reed Collector could be fine for me. Uh, Fiddler. I, I actually, I always love Fiddler. I think Fiddler is such a su super cool card. Rewards like really nice planning. Um, Sunday Worker is pretty good though. Sunday Worker for um, something like Plow Sow or if you get two cattle, for example, or if you want to double reno your house as an option. Um, pro trouble with Sunday Worker is just that it needs to come early, and I've got a couple cards that I want to play early. Similar issue with Gardener's Wife. I like Gardener's Wife, but I don't know for sure how many times I'm going to family growth. Um, I'm looking at Reed Collector or Fiddler. I think my choice is between those two, and I'm going to take Fiddler because my Reed needs might be very small this game. Storehouse Clerk doesn't work with Fiddler. Um, they're kind of an anti-combo that way. Um, Storehouse Keeper is fine. I mean, I like it. The Reedstone food space is good. But I have occupations I want to play, so I'm not sure I'm going to get on those spaces a lot. I'm going to take Stonebreaker here, actually. This is kind of a denial move. But that's fine, I think. Hey, Mars guy, hope you're doing well. Um, I've been keeping busy. Um, yeah, so I haven't played for a couple weeks. Um, I've been meaning to, just haven't, haven't had much time, been keeping pretty busy, uh, and the internet wasn't that good at my place for like a couple weeks, so it seems to come and go a lot. I think we're on cable, so it might depend. I live in a pretty dense area, so... I imagine it probably depends a lot on how many students are around and when they're on vacation or wherever. Probably gets impacted by that. Because I think cable, you share your connection with the other people, unlike uh, DSL, which is over the phone line or fiber or whatever. So. Alright, we're just waiting on the other players to make some picks. I am so surprised. What? What do I have to have taken with my first pick in order to take one of those cards with my second pick? So if my first pick is Braggart, my second pick would probably be um, Manufact... Would it be Manufacturer? I don't even know. I don't rank Manufacturer that highly, honestly. Um... Just the timing is always so awkward. Oh, I can't see the minus 11. Actually, I don't know if Chris has updated it yet. He had planned to, but I don't think he has. So with Stonebreaker and Clay Plaster, I'm thinking about doing a five room stone house. Stonebreaker is nice because it allows me to reno very easily in round 14, like as late as I need to. 
Uh, clay plaster, of course, saves you. Like if I play clay plaster and it saves me one clay on the reno, that's not worth it. But if it saves me one clay plus two per room, that would be a five clay action, which is good. If I build three rooms, which I could do, then it would be a uh, eight clay action, which is even better. So. We will see all the cards on Thatcher. I like Fiddler. So what's my dream start in this game? My dream start is round one Tutor, round two Fiddler, round four Animal Husbandry Worker. Why do I want Tutor, um, why do I want it to fall out in that order? Because Fiddler activates on round two and four. It gives a food on those rounds. So playing occupations on rounds where I want to get food is good timing. Because I would rather take my resources on odd numbered round. Um, odd number rounds, yeah. Oh, they are here. Oh man, and I got Trailblazer back. An expert builder. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think expert builder is too much early. Trailblazer is really good. And actually, Trailblazer is great with Fiddler because I can go on so bake more often. It gives me other actions that are that are good. I like expert. I think expert builder would be okay. It would get me read. Read is nice. But I think having seen storehouse keeper, having seen read collector, I bet there's going to be a ton of read in the game. So I bet I can get a couple nice read actions. Oh man. Well, I like downsizing, but. Uh, Downsizing, actually, hmm, downsizing is an option where I build a room, family growth, downsize, then reno to clay and farm steward grow. That is absolutely an option. And it's probably the one I should take. Peter Butter, Peanut Butter Factory is like ridiculously strong though. Clay and a grain to five food and a point is so good. The only thing is I have no, no source of grain income. Um, ox team is interesting with animal husbandry worker just because you have a reason to go for earlier animals. Cured meat is pretty good actually because it's just a way to get bonus points or food or both. Yeah, looks like downsizing is a pick here. So I build a wood room like normal, then I reno, then I play farm steward and grow again to for my fourth family member. That looks like a pretty strong combination. Hmm. This pick is pretty difficult. With bamboo, bamboo is awkwardly timed because of downsizing. Because it would, yeah. Mm. Cotton field is also awkward with trailblazer. They're kind, of, they're a little redundant. Let's go Cottonfield. Cottonfield is a stronger card. Cottonfield's power is really high. It's a it minor minor plows are good. Uh, horse, excellent with yeoman farmer, but I didn't take yeoman farmer, of course. Um, probiotic food, no thank you. Cow chips, easy pick here.
corn basket no treasure map treasure map is an option but I think probably not I don't think I need it upholstery uh, no because I can only use it twice um, petting zoo like I, I just have a look this is all pushing me towards just a, a ton of points on my farm like five fields Five, um, five pastures, lots of animals, lots of crops. That's what that's what this game is all pushing me towards doing. Yeah. Actually, nice thing is Trailblazer Cottonfield will help me fill up my empty spaces because the issue with downsizing is that you usually end up with some empty spaces. And with Animal Husbandry Worker, I want to fence tightly, so I want to fence 15 on five spaces. So that means I'll have another eight spaces that need to be covered. Well, Trailblazer and Cottonfield will help me get part of the way. I could also, of course, build more than one wood room. I could build two wood rooms and then downsize to three and then do my farm steward play from there and that would get me to five family members. However, usually there's diminishing returns on that fifth family member. And that usually the timing just takes too long so that you can't get, uh, you can't get the uh, actions back out of it efficiently. Discussion on Pasture Planner. So what do we have here? Peanut Butter Factory came back. Cash Crop came back. Cook Pot came back. This is actually quite difficult. I'm going to say that with Cotton Field and Trailblazer, I don't need Ox Team, but passing Ox Team to one of my opponents, ugh, I do not love doing that. Uh, whenever you receive reed or stone from an action space, you get clay. I mean, if I'm going to do a bunch of clay rooms, that's good, but I'm not necessarily going to. Clay plaster might not get played. I think I'm going to take Peanut Butter Factory here, just because if I set up, like, two grain fields and I cow chip sow them to get to eight then I can convert both of them to bonus points and then re-sow to get to eight again something like that that might be good for the end of the game um, boar trap whenever you take grain you receive a boar uh, meh. I'm not sure it's even I'm not sure two boar is worth the two wood in a miner um, stables yeah stables are options I do like I think I like stone weir a bit better though just because I'm not sure how I'm gonna feed in the early game and if I grow early stone weir can be quite nice and actually stone weir with fiddler yeah I like that because I want to make uh, Thatcher realizing that heretic doesn't work the way he thought it might. Hmm. 
and then telling him it depends on the text of the cards. Uh, this pick, I don't want Ox Skull because it anti combos with Petting Zoo. Dual Field is nothing, like, there's just, I don't see any reason ever to play it, so probiotic food. Unfortunately, I start fourth. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully this game goes faster than the drafting stage did. Otherwise I'm going to be falling asleep in my chair. Occupation. Read collector. Right off the bat. Let's go, guys. Because we started, we spent 24 minutes to draft. Oh man, I had a game where people quit, people decided to collectively abandon the game because the draft took 15 minutes. Like, <laughs> against my wishes too, because I think I was setting up the stream or planning this or something, something to do with the stream. Plowmaker, this is a very early Plowmaker. Wonder if Thatcher, or wonder if they're planning on Grabbing lots of. Wonder if they took that occupation that lets you turn turn building resources into food. But then the question is, what is going? What are you going to do with that food? Do you have something like guest room, a card like guest room, which would be nice. Well, I said my dream start was tutor then. Fiddler, round one, round two, that's not happening. But, hopefully. Oh, word bait. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Something totally fine to do with your second action when there's nothing really on the board. Um, field into food or field in a food. I guess it's a field and a food because you have to pay for the plow maker. Or two fields and a food, I should say. Um, really nothing that I want here. Just absolutely nothing. So I can do two food or I can do a grain. Two food, I guess. That's a sad start for me. Three wood and two food, but I'm sure I'll make it work. Uh, so next up, I want to be playing Fiddler in round two. Ideally, I play Fiddler and then don't need to do anything else. Like, and then I don't need to play any other... Um, Take any building resource spaces. If I could play two occupations, that would be cool. Fiddler and Tutor would be fine. Let's see what Thatcher does. Goes for the wood. Cool. 
The other thing I could do is I could always play probiotic food second action. And then I could use that as my read. So Fiddler. So Mercator does his double plow. Let's see what Thatcher leaves me. If Thatcher leaves me to read, I will very happily. Oh man, we had Stone Buyer. What? Oh, Stone Buyer. That is a card. Not a good card, but it is a card. <laughs> um, I'm going to start player probiotic food. I bet I get three read back. Minus two food plus a food and a wood. Yeah, I love Fiddler. I think it's so much fun. I like it way better than uh, than uh, Rancher because Rancher can just nail you. You can get or you can get screwed by your opponents on Rancher, but Thatcher or um, Fiddler, it's all about how you play it. That's the most important factor. It's all about your game plan and if you can predict your opponents uh, correctly. Looks like I'm not dropping any frames, which is good. Happy about that. Unwing took day labor. Yep. So there's a very good chance that if I take three read here, that I'm getting a three wood action back. And then I'm in the perfect spot to build a room in round four or round five. Funwing taking resources to build a room, but if he's going to stone by, he's not going to be able to afford to. Okay, here we go from Mercator. Okay, here we go. Wow, why did he not take Peanut Butter Factory? Holy, what else was in that pile? Uh, bo Bossin? Bosin? Um, a bosun or bosun, um, not boatswain. And actually, someone else pronounced it that way too. I don't remember where I was hearing it. It was something totally unrelated as well, not related to this game at all. I get three wood. It's exactly what I predicted. Yes. Um, So this is fun for Mercator. Wormbait and uh, pl Plowmaker giving him a way of getting extra value from his early fields. Because of course the plow one field tile is not that efficient for point generation early on in the game. But uh, two fields, which you're going to get a grain from, that's a lot better. I assume Mercator is going to plow two fields again. Um, 
and then round four he'll go on one food fishing get how does worm bait work is it per field whenever you use the space add to food yeah yeah so he's going to use fishing for five food plus four grain which is pretty cool especially if he's got any kind of combo card that says hey if you fulfill these conditions do blah um i'm gonna build the first room i don't see any reason not to There's kind of some other nice actions out there, but I have a perfect setup for building a room and then second action, animal husbandry worker, get an extra wood. And for miners, I can play downsizing for free. I can play, I can afford petting zoo, although I don't really want to spend the wood for petting zoo until later in the game. No tutor? Um, yeah, the thing is I really want to play animal husbandry worker. I think getting the breeding, getting the space to hold the breeding pair, especially when the fireplace is not yet built, I think that'll be really good. So yeah, so the question is, the is the w extra wood worth a point? And I'm going to say it is, because it means round six, I can pop off my fiddler once again by taking sheep taking a pair of sheep so I think that works out and uh, yeah I'm gonna do four wood and I'll do it where do I do it so that I can maximize my pasture the pasture proximity here I guess Yeah. So I get the food from Fiddler and then I get the food from Fiddler back for playing Animal Husbandry Worker. And I get a wood as well. Mercator plays Corn Basket. Oh, that's right. I forgot this card was out there. Very nice. Very nice. Extensions and renovations. So he can basically use it for all his read or if he's getting on the if he's getting enough read he can use it for wood. Thatcher takes three wood, so there's no six wood action for Mercator. Also the sheep were allowed to increase as well. So Thatcher and I might be competing for the sheep. It's Reno. So Heretic is happy. Heretic. I think it's Thatcher. I think Thatcher took the Heretic. Heretic. So you think, so okay, her, you definitely say heresy. Heresy, you don't say hearsay. You don't say, what are the other pronunciations? Her heretic, Her heresy, heretic, those are the same pronunciations. Heretic, where you put the, where, 
heresy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how to say those words. All right, let's ask let's ask a pronunciation thing. I'm going to dictionary.cambridge.com. Heretic. 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 Not heretic. Today I learned. Uh, what do I want to do here? Read stone food and assume a buy. Do I want a first action build or a start player? No, I don't need a first action start player. Um, I think read stone food and assume that I'm going to get bought from. That read might cost me a wood, but. But that's okay. I think that's fine. Because if my second action is start player, then I don't gain any. Um, then I could have benefited from Fiddler. Like the one, I would have gotten one wood instead of one reed, but. Hmm. Hmm. Funwing. There's no way he paid for his family. No way he has four food after doing that. Four on farm. Removes four resources on farm. Maybe he took traveling players was not um yeah I guess he did, but even so he's bought three times. So he's gotten to eleven food already? Is that right? That doesn't seem right to me. Did he announce in He did announce that he fed and nobody else is saying anything, so maybe that's right. Um I am going to take wood. I bet I don't have to compete with Mercator and Thatcher to build. Because Thatcher has her, um, her heretic. Thatcher has her heretic. Oh man, I can't even remember what the right, right pronunciation is. Thatcher has the card that lets you go from a two-room stone house to a four-room wood house. Um, Mercator, I bet, took... Uh, that means Mercator took the double build card. And Funwing is starting player. That's fine. Because I have the resources to room block if I need to. Yeah, Tower Builder, that's it. What did I say, Room Builder? Yeah, Mercator has uh, Tower Builder, definitely. And uh, Thatcher has Heretic. So that means I can grow in round seven almost definitely with no start player actions. And this is the round in which all the building resources are available. And if I'm not going to family growth and I'm not going to start player, I should really be taking the good re resources. So that means that Fiddler is unlikely to activate, which means it's not good. Fiddler is best when you get um, multiple wooden food out of it, but that's okay. Uh, I'm interested to see what Thatcher does here. Really interested.
I'm happy I only took two stone minor cards, and I don't really have a need for any stone major cards. I am happy about that. Uh, there are two, three wood actions available. I think I'm going to try to trigger Fiddler. Corn Basket's available, so Mercator could build a room with his second action. If he does, I will respond. Let's play Tutor. I can respond by building a room myself. If Mercator doesn't build, I can uh, take a grain, grain wood food. Cater does build. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'm interested to see what Thatcher does. Thatcher start player here? No, I wish. Thatcher going on Reedstone food. So yeah, so if I want to grow next round, I need to put some work into it. Or I can do a couple good wood actions. I get a food if I start player here. A food and a wood, which is pretty nice. The only problem with that is it passes six wood to Funwing, which I'm not super psyched about. Because Funwing is just going to run away with the game otherwise. But if I don't, if I don't take six wood, he gets four wood. So I think this is fine. For some reason, Thatcher shows as having more people on his farm to me. A corn basket. One reed, one wood. Interesting. That's fine. Oh, you know what? I could play Stone Weir with my second action. I could have done that. I could discard corn, pro probiotic food to play Stone Weir, but it got me some extra food. But I guess we've got Mercator who likes the fishing space as well. It's unlikely. So probably I'm going to go on traveling players and get uh, some food. Yeah, Thatcher has just gotten s screwed so badly by the stone buyer. I'm surprised there's enough food available for the stone buyer to be viable. But, uh, seems to be. Seems to not be an issue.
Is it gonna feed with Basket Maker's Workshop, I'm guessing? That's probably how I would play it. Oh, there we go, Thatcher building a room. So no Tower Builder. So someone took Tower Builder ahead of all the other good stuff in that pile. Yeah, someone took it over Reed Collector, over the Get a Vegetable When You Family Growth card. Yeah. There's good stuff in there. There's good stuff. The question for me is, do I build another room or do I, oh, lay about, of course. Nice, really nice. Question for me is, do I build another room or do I go for a uh, much earlier uh, fences? Because I can ma build my 15 fences next round. Because I have seven from downsizing, four already built, plus four from my farm. Now, I think with the amount of wood that I'm getting from Fiddler, it's probably worthwhile building another room. Especially because I have two reed on my farm already. That'll make clay plaster a lot more worthwhile as well. That's your plays well seller and we also saw bamboo from Thatcher as well or from Mercator well seller is kind of fun maybe realizing that the heretic heretic was never gonna go off so So yeah, I expected Tower Builder, I expected Heretic, neither of those ended up being played, so it ended up me meaning that I had to use a start player action in order to um, I had to use a start player action in order to get everything I wanted done. which is a super big pain, but uh, oh well. He's got Mercator doing his family growth, of course. So I can first action build a room here. And then I don't have to start player to family growth. Uh, oh no, actually no, that's not how that works. I would need to build a room in round nine. Just Thatcher is gonna start player with this move. No, he's not, interesting. Well, I have the stuff to jump him if I want to. Kind of have to really want to, though. Let's build a room and see what happens. Put it down here. This way, I have it built ahead of Fun Wing. Passed up on some nice wood actions, unfortunately. Yeah, Funwing is just playing the NerfG route, which is probably the correct play. 
whistle for Thatcher, so I'm going to grab three sheep here. And then my third move will be something that doesn't get me building resources, and I'll get an extra food in a wood thanks to that. So I'll probably take one grain. Funwing plays Remodeler. Okay. So that means if I want to grow, I'm going to have to do some crazy stuff. Marvoscock says, do you plan to feed next round? Uh, I plan to feed with a fireplace. So what I can do is I can discard my, re my probiotic food with this action to build the two clay fireplace, or I can take clay next round and then um, major minor cooking hearth. Both are okay options. I think what I will do though is I'm going to do the probiotic food and grab the two clay fireplace. get a wood and a food. So I only need two more food in the next round in order to get all the food I need for this game. Would have been nicer to save probiotic food for uh, stone costs, especially with stone buyer out there, but uh, I mean, if I don't play Stone Weir, it's no big deal. It's no big deal at all. I could also have waited to take sheep in the next round, but that would have been a little greedy. It would mean that I definitely could not start player sheep, for example. Just something I'd consider doing. I guess I want to start player. I want to. I want to keep my family growth spot in queue, because if I don't, that'll mean. Uh, actually, hmm. Can Funwing afford to jump me? is the question. He needs to feed. So Basket Maker's Workshop seems like the most likely course of action. So Basket Maker's Workshop plus um, a two food action is enough to get to six. So that means his entire round would have to be start player, major minor BMW, one other thing. So I could, if he tries to jump me, I can starve him by blocking major minor, upgrading to a cooking hearth. I would have no problem doing that. Yeah, I can do that. All right. I like the sounds of that. So family growth from Thatcher. Yeah, so I'm going to, uh, well, I'll grab, th uh, what do I do with the first move again? Three stone? Because there's no way he can buy it. There's no way he can afford to buy it, I don't think. Yeah. I'm guessing he's going to say no buy. If he does buy, I'm happy because it gets me all the food I need for this next harvest. But if he doesn't buy, I get an extra stone, which nobody else has had access to. Yeah, he has to think about his feeding. 
No, that's what I figured. So he has two food, needs more food. Now, if he has a miner that gives him food, that'll go a long way to helping. Yeah, there we go. First action, basket maker's workshop. Good. So that means I can do second action, start player stone weir. And then I have the option of fishing or something else. I could do Reedstone food. Reedstone food's more appealing now that um, the stone can't be bought. I also want to take building resources this round because this is the round to do that in. Um, hmm, think, 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 think. Four read and three read? Four clay and three read? Or do I do something totally different? I think I take four clay here. And if Funwing wants to start player jump me to go to family growth, that's fine. I'll probably get family growth around 11 without having to use a start player action. Yeah, because I don't really want a family growth until I can play cow chips with it. Oh, Funwing playing occupation manufacturer. Okay. So that means he will uh, almost certainly start player joinery if I pass it which I'm not going to. I'm going to I'm going to start player um play stone weir. But I see okay, so I see the stone buyer thinking the thinking with stone buyer is keeping the stone out of everyone's hands long enough so that you can afford to remodel, manufacture, build the three major improvements on the bottom. Downside of that is stone buyer puts a ton of extra food into the game, which lets people like just grow and get big way easier. Ooh. Oh, Mercator has his corn basket. Okay, so he's saying I have to stable block if I want to grow. Sure. That's fine with me. Means I have to eat two sheep, but that's ah, not a big deal.
Okay, uh, so all that reed got grabbed. Uh, doesn't matter though, my first action is uh, family growth. And the question is, am I playing peanut butter factory here or am I playing stone weir? Um, I'll play stone weir. It would be nice to be able to build the well, but uh, doesn't look like it's in the cards for me. So this is looking like a good fiddler round um, because my second action will be two sheep or two boar and then my third action will be one grain or one vegetable or um, trailblazer, occupation trailblazer. Any of those would be fine. Yeah, so the way things are looking, I'm kind of thinking Trailblazer maybe gets me three fields, and then my last action of the game will ha be a Farm Steward enabled cotton field for two, for like five points or what, or uh, seven point move for the last action of the game. Something like that. It might come out that it's worth it to Farm Steward earlier. Just my feeding is not a hundred. It's not amazing, um, so it's hard to say what the right play is. Yeah, Funwing, Funwing sitting on start player has kind of hurt me a little. That's for sure. Um, yeah, I wonder if Thatcher will build. Uh, take the two boar here. I probably would, because he's got space for two uh, two breeding pairs with uh, Whistle, because Whistle needs means that you can breed off of one sheep only. Or wait, how does that work? It means you can eat the sheep and then, oh sorry, never mind, no you can't. Well, you kind of breed off of two sheep, but you don't do your normal breed. The best value is if you go from one sheep to four, three sheep every harvest. Because then you're getting one whistle plus one normal breed. I guess two sheep is not much better than fishing for me. So I need to think about that. So I have four four fences, I get seven from the other thing, so I need, and I get one from Fiddler this round, so I need three more. Locator built another room. Thatcher's comment is room madness. Well, it's something, that's for sure. Um, I don't think I'm gonna take this sheep here. Um, yeah, Thatcher's not going to take two sheep. I'm going to occupation play trailblazer. Eat a sheep to pay for it. And then my set, my last action can be fishing or, or two sheep. Both are fine. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Man, I cannot believe Mercator didn't take Peanut Butter Factory. Like, it's a cooking hearth with, or it's a clay oven where you have to pay a clay to enable the bake, but because, but as compensation, you get, <laughs> you get food. Pretty good. All fishing's gone to Mercator. That's too bad. Um, well, I don't have to take food here. 
I can take food, but I don't have to. I do need two reeds, so reeds don't food. Oh no, I want to activate fiddler, so no, I'm not doing those things. Um, Greenwood food. And actually, I'm really happy to see Mercator building a room this round because you didn't need to. And what it means is Funwing doesn't get the has Funwing with his first action has to do other stuff, has to family growth, can't do some other option. Ooh, but he does have treasure map, which is nice. Well, it's a little sad that treasure map came out after. Uh, after manufacturer I guess he was worried about joinery getting bought and I'll pay you to activate my uh, trailblazer here and funwing playing pottery of course yep no surprise I do want the sheep, but I'm going to get them at three sheep here. Because Thatcher is going to go for four wood instead. Uh, I guess Brocator might go for four wood. If Brocator goes for four wood, though, I think Thatcher takes three wood. Because Thatcher needs wood quite badly. Actually, they both do. Uh, I guess Mercator less so because he's got bamboo, but he still likes it, I would think. But he's just got really, really good value. Excuse me, out of that corn basket. Absolutely. Mercator first action reedstone food. Interesting. Very interesting. So Thatcher will four wood, so I get the three sheep. That works fine. Oh, Thatcher going for the stone. Hmm. Well, I definitely have to take the sheep. Because I don't think they'll go around a second time. Mercator got the four wood back. Holy. Yeah, Funwing needed food, so he did traveling players. Interesting. Plow driver for Thatcher. So Thatcher's last move will be Reno. So let's look at the wording of plow driver. Once you have a stone house, yeah. So it does not work with heretic. So silo girl works with heretic, but N. But not plow driver. Um, do I want to sew? I guess I need more food, don't I? Well, four food fishing plus two food sheep gets me to f um, seven, so I need one more. The plow drive, the stone buyer messed me up. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Um, let's take three wood. That's kind of a holding move. Am I going to end up eating both my sheep again? 
Mm, I'll be kind of sad if that's the case. I could do something with Peanut Fat Butter Factory. Oh man, they start playing again. Yeah, this is okay. This is always going to be hard for me. Because Funwing is just really sad on the start player space. Uh, that's too bad. So, I think I take fish in here. The question is, how do I make up that one last food that I need? I think the way that I do it is with, um, I think I just do peanut butter factory, which really means I should have start player or I should be doing it with reno, but I think peanut butter factory here. It's a little sad, but uh, I think it's fine. So I feed a grain into five food, plus another one, plus the sheep, which breeds. Uh, you know what? I can just eat. Uh, let the sheep breed. So that's fine. I have to convert another clay to do it. That's fine. Yeah, so it would have been nice if I could have start playered instead, but those three, um, those th that three wood means that I can first action fence and second action take boar or cattle in this round. And then this is looking like another fiddler round where I play an occupation and then uh, do something else like plow or take reed or grain I wonder if I don't run out of stone this game. Like it just might not be worthwhile.
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Boom. With downsize. So yeah, next action, take boar, take cattle. One of them should come back. If both came back, that would be ideal, but I'm pretty sure only one's coming back. Don't want to forget about um, cow chips, so that's why I'm moving my thing up, my pasture up. Get that third adjacent space just that little bit earlier. Yeah. Put that you're grabbing the cattle, that's fine, so I'll take the sheep. Or the boar, sorry. Thatcher's saying this game went south for him. It did not play out ex at all the way I had expected it to. That draft was weird, and uh, there's just been a lot of weirdness. A lot, a lot of weirdness. So I'm thinking probably take the. <coughs> Excuse me, take vegetable, take grain for the last two moves here. It'll activate my fiddler. Not that fiddler is super important at this point, but it's something. Ooh. <coughs> this is unexpected. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, I don't get wood F yet, just green. I'm going to sow so that I can plow at the start of next round. And also, it gives me three total grain, which is two that I can eat with my peanut butter factory plus one that I keep in my supply for two points. Plow. It would have been nice to get my cow chips off, but uh, that's okay.
I guess I need to remember what I had thought. So if I'm going to play Clay Plaster, Farm Steward, Family Growth, Cotton Field, that's, that's going to be worthwhile because that's two points for a tutor plus um, another seven. So that's like nine points for three actions. So that's an excellent sequence. Now, it also means that I need to take Clay and take Reed, but that's that's fine because I want clay anyways for my peanut butter factory and the reed might give me food with it if I take it at the right time so uh, okay so what do I do with this action do I want to start player I don't have I'm not ready to play cow chips if I was ready to play cow chips sure but I'm not Hmm. Well, if I don't, Funwing is going to do it for, I would think. He's going to plow so, so is two vegetables. So I have to think a little here. First, I get a wood and a food. That I can do, first of all. Second of all, I can... Um, You know what? Let's take the, let's take the, um, uh, cow. Am I getting two cow next round? There's no way, right? There's no way. Let's try it. If, if start player comes back to me, I will start player cow chips. And then hopefully I can do something with that. Not peanut buttering this round, but next round. Or only if I get another thing. Yeah, okay, board trap start player looks like. Oh, that's fine. It's annoying, but that's fine. Oh, fun way. Oh, just, just loving the start player space. Pretty irritating, but that's uh, just the way it goes. So petting zoo wants me to have two sheep and two boar. So having the single cattle is totally fine for petting zoo. Wow, how plow so? <laughs> Can I go around a second time? Nobody wants it. I guess I'm very unusually there was not a lot of source of crops in this game, and the source of crops is Boston, who doesn't give a crap about going on plow so happy to just fish all day um yeah wow well vegetables not available if i could take ain't green and vegetable and then plow so sure but i can't do that um Let's take clay. I should have done reedstone food, maybe. Yeah, it's going to be hard to play clay plasterer and farm steward. But not impossible. There is organic farmer out there that I have to worry about coming out. But otherwise, no one else has really shown that they want to play a lot of occupations. Like, no one's got any cards that say play lots of occupations late. Yeah, Funwing got Plow so back. Jeez. Jeez. Oh man, just kind of everything has gone this way, which is, which sucks for me.
doesn't buy, that's fine. I'm hoping he's going to reno now. Oh, Yeoman Farmer. Yeoman Farmer is going to be good for Funwing if he took it. I don't remember what pile it was with. Yeah, I wonder who, what Funwing's real account is. I don't know if I refused to play with him the other day because he was clearly an alternate account, but... Yeah, seem to know what the um, like the rules and conventions are. Maybe another Catalan. All right, let's go, guys. Come on, let's keep it going. Game's been pretty slow. What have I been live for? Almost an hour and a half, and we're not even to the round 14. Hmm. So I need to reno or else I can't reno. Uh, it means that cotton field is probably only going to be one field, but that's okay. That happens. Um, do I peanut butter here or do I try to sew again? I think I probably peanut butter every chance I can. Three food and clay. Three food clay grain to peanut butter. So the difference between major minor cotton field and family growth without room. I guess family growth of that room is probably not going to come back to me. Thatcher will probably take it. So, yeah, the advantage of kind of what I planned on is that I can f play Farm Steward for a point and then play Cotton Field for five points rather than seven, which I had planned on. But that's how she goes. And Trailblazer has not really been that good considering how... Uh, low priority plow has been valued with plow driver and uh, plow maker being used early. Unusual, unusual game. If so bake comes back to me though, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna lose it if so bake comes back to me. <laughs> oh man. I guess it could always read stone food and then stone breaker. Two actions for four points and cost one food. Now I do have vegetable available, which will be points. Run 
no fence going to Mercator. Plowso is gone. Good, so I don't need to go crazy. Um, plow? Do I play my farm steward here? I guess there are a couple cards out there. There are a couple late game occupations available. Let's do it. Yeah, this game is pretty sad. This is an example of a game where I could not afford to go forth and get locked out of occupation in round one because of me drafting tutor. Now you can say, well, you didn't have to draft tutor, but uh, which is absolutely true. But I mean, I have a 75% chance that I get it out in round one. And if I get it out in round, oh, he does have bragger. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, Chris, wake up. Yeah, because the last time I got Braggart, we just redrafted the game, which is like, it's, it's broken, it's power 5-9. <laughs> Chris said he'd add it to the minus 11 checkbox two months ago. Nah, he didn't. He might not have actually added it, but he did say he was going to add it. Um, Reedstone food to force uh, could take Reedstone food here. Um, I mean it's two actions for four points. Plow and vegetable are the same. So it doesn't really matter I guess. Oh, you know what? It's more than that. Uh, I'm gonna ask to change. Oh, you know what? I can't. Uh, I can't play the Stonebreaker. What am I thinking? Stonebreaker. Oh. Yeah, Chris said he was gonna add the uh, minus eleven checkbox. Where was it? Band cards. Is this it? Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't actually done it yet. He hasn't updated, but he said he was going to. Yeah, and Wall says Braggart is banned. Go guys, come on. I guess I've been the slowest of everyone, but I'm streaming, so I have a good excuse. They do not. So, three point petting zoo. I have a lot of bonus points, but my farm score is going to be pretty pathetic. I mean, it might be the type of game where he wins without Bragg. Oh, no, probably not. Yeah, it's not a game he wins without Braggart. Well, horse, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, he might have won it without Braggart anyways. Uh, power of Braggart, you know, is it just forces you to do, like, a actually good strategy. It uh, forces you to like focus your game so that you do good stuff instead of bad stuff. Like uh, I kind of did a lot of bad stuff this game. Minus one, minus one, that, and then I just need to eat that and that and I get them both back. So it's uh, grain, grain sheet board to feed. I did have the inkling that maybe manufacturer going so early meant that Braggart was around, but uh, not that strong. So final score, 31 plus 4, 4, 10, 13, so I score 44 final. Which is going to be enough for second place. And, but not good enough to beat the braggart. Of course not. The question, the only thing that's interesting to me is if he had any card that's not braggart, like if he had say a three point bonus card at the end here, would I have beaten that? I'm interested in that. Funwing has, yeah. That's what I'm interested to know. If I would have beat that, then I'll feel kind of cheated. But if he, like, it's his first pick, so you expect your first pick to do something good for you. Yeah. Oh, Mercator. I would have tied with Mercator then. Looks like. But uh, we'll see how much Funwing wins by. I think he'll only win by, like, three or four points. Like, he probably hits 46. So if he only wins by 46, then, you know, uh, he wins because of Braggart. Absolutely. Like, even if you compare it to, like, a five-point card, 
If your first pick's a five point card like Cloister Dweller, which is not overpowered by any yeah. What did I say? Forty six, you got to it exactly. <sighs> oh well. That's fine. That's fine. Um yeah, if he had say he had gotten Cloister Dweller with his first pick and he gets a four four five point cloister dweller, four fewer points, he scores forty two, forty three, like then then I tie with Mercator for the win. And then um Um Let's take a look at the draft. Three, two, five, six, three, five. So, Farm Steward. Interestingly, Reed Collector higher by power, but Reed Collector picked almost a spot later. Um, tutor, next best card by power, yep, in draft position. Husbandry worker, same deal. Clay plaster behind berry picker. Now, I've got tutor in my hand already, and berry picker is really sad when you don't get him out in round one. At least I always feel bad about berry, taking berry picker. Organic Farmer, higher card by power than Clay Plaster, and not drafted that much later, so looks like that's a stronger card. Now, in this game, with Animal Husbandry Worker, Organic Farmer is pretty unplayable, because you're usually going for five, uh, five little pastures of sp space two. So unless you have some sort of uh, combination that increases their capacity... Here I took Fiddler over Reed Collector. <laughs> Fiddler was the fourth worst card in that pile. Ah, I don't get it. I, I think Fiddler is so nice. Oh, man. Maybe it like puts you into this really weird position and it forces you to do unnatural things which your opponents benefit off of. That maybe is the weakness of Fiddler. It's hard to say, though. Like, would I have liked Reed Collector in this game? I guess, but the thing is, Reed Collector after Tutor, and then I have Animal Husbandry Worker. I think a more interesting question is, would Sunday Worker have been the better pick? Because I don't think I'm playing Gardener's Wife, I don't think I'm playing Fiddler, or I don't, I'm not playing Cattle Whisperer. So would Sunday Worker have done something for me? Like, Sunday Worker with Tutor in round 14, I could play Sunday Worker on with my first action on occupation and then pay one extra food to take the space again. So it would have been two food for one point. And actually in this game it would have been two food for three points. Hmm, I should have thought about that. Tutor plus Sunday Worker is a way to get an extra occupation out for, for very little cost. Um, Stonebreaker over Storehouse Keeper. Yeah, Reedstone Food was pretty sad. Nobody really wanted it, and Trailblazer, obviously, a good card. So downsizing I took here over Cured Meat. Hmm. Cured Meat rated really highly. And Cash Crop also a little bit better, looks like. And Matic. Matic is also close. But yeah, Ox Team, Peanut Butter Factory, just so, 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 so strong. I don't understand why Mercator passed it. He wins. I'm pretty sure he wins if he takes Drafts Peanut Butter Factory, but whatever. Um, what did he take out of here? Like, did he take... I don't even understand what he would have taken. Cured Meat? Cash Crop? Okay, Cash Crop I can understand a little bit, but I would have taken Peanut Butter Factory and hoped that Cash Crop came back, which it might have. Cotton Field, obviously. Cow Chips, yeah, it's a pretty easy pick. Took Petting Zoo over Treasure Map. 
I just find there are better ways to uh, to plow than treasure map. I don't know, but obviously it's super annoying for the player after you. Yeah, I guess if I decided I wanted to attack, Th Thatcher was behind me, so I could have sat on, sat on start player all game. Or not all game, but treasure map lets you sit on start player late in the game, and then that um, that hurts the person who's going fourth and helps the person who's going second. So, yeah. Hmm. I wonder about that. But I took Petting Zoo, and I mean, Petting Zoo was three points, and I was pretty confident it was going to be worth that much with downsizing in my hand. And Animal Husbandry Worker. And I took Peanut Butter Factory. Like, Peanut Butter Factory is so good. I can't believe it came back. Cannot believe it. Stone Weir over Farm Stable. Farm Stable gets drafted really late, which, which is interesting. Because I guess you want to see if you get support for building stables. Because there are a lot of games where you just can't afford to build stables. Or if you do, it means that you're losing. And then Probiotic Food. I actually like the Probiotic Food, how it worked to get the two clay fireplace. That was kind of cool. Although, if I could have saved it to do like a surprise reno at the end. Like, if I could have saved it so that I could have reno with only two stone in my hand. That would have been kind of cool as well. But, uh, oh. it worked out fine, I think. I needed the food. Yeah. And I was seated fourth at the start of the draft, which is really sad position to be in. So I had kind of two big things going against me. First, Funwing, ha uh, having passed Funwing um, Manufacturer and... Uh, what was the other one? Manufacturer and treasure map. And then the other thing was that I was started fourth in round one. Those were the two big things that um, I think hurt hurt me the most. So. Yep, that's going to be everything for me. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. Um, I'm going to stream tomorrow. I uh, don't have anything in particular going on. So yeah, look for me tomorrow. Uh, give me a follow on twitch.tv slash play underscore agricola. That's where I stream all these live. Um, check out play-agricola.com. Um, you know, if you enjoy the game, um, it can be intimidating. Sometimes people are not always the friendliest on the internet, but, you know, we'd love to have more people playing on it. Um, yes, that's all for me. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this little video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.